Welcome back to the Rolanda Show. You can reach us at one eight seven 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 row show especially if you have a story about how you're dealing with your own body image. Maybe you have an eating disorder. Maybe you have a child who has an eating disorder. Maybe you have a story to tell that might change a life. Call us at one eight seven 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 six seven four six nine. Our next guest certainly has a story that is changing lives. Jessica Weiner is the author of "Do I Look Fat in This?" <laughs> now, how is this changing lives? <laughs> well, it's the most commonly asked question by women, don't I you think? I know it really is, and it's the one, one of those questions that men hate us to ask. They do, and that's why in the book I address that. Actually, the top ten ways men respond, and the number one is that they pretend that they're frozen still and became suddenly deaf. You know, they didn't hear you. They're hoping you don't ask them the question again. And really, in the end, I kept cr traveling across the country speaking with women in every place I went, bathrooms, and even if we were in bookstores and restaurants, I would always hear women ask, do I look fat in this? And what is that really saying? Well, to me, I talk about it being the language of fat. I think that when women speak in that language and they ask that question, Rolanda, they really want to know something else. Mm -hmm. They want some validation. Right. They want some approval and some acceptance. But it's the most common way women communicate. Be because the answer we want to hear is no. Well, yeah. <laughs> the answer we want to hear is no. no. And even I think beyond that, we want to know that we don't have to ask that question anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it just becomes code language. You right. know, I can stand in the bathroom and know about the size and shape of your thighs before I ever know your name. That's you know, I got right. like strangers talking about their fat butt and their <laughs> wrinkly this and their saggy that. And it always amazes me how women can go right to the lowest common denominator and bond. Mm -hmm. And that is where we bond. Yeah. Now we're waiting clothes. Yeah, weight and clothes and men. <laughs> That's right. Now, you have gone through a tremendous struggle in your life with body image. Tell me about that a bit. Well, I started dieting with my mom when I was 11, and it wasn't because I needed to, and it wasn't because the doctor ordered it. It was because my mom was dieting. And you know what? That's what, one of the things that we say that, you know, our kids try on our clothes. They try on our shoes. They also try on our diets. At 11 years yeah. old, what are you doing dieting? You right. Know? Well, I saw my mom doing it, and I wanted to be her, you know, I became her diet buddy, and I was the first born and close to her. And I mean, it was natural. My mom didn't know any better. She was a woman always struggling with her weight and feeling like her life began five pounds from now. Mm -hmm. You know? And oh, wow. Like, her life begins <laughs> five pounds from now. Wow. Right? Which is really like <laughs> the craziest of notions. But a lot of people are waiting to live their life. So, I, you know, I saw my mom dieting and I followed in her footsteps. And then slowly over my teenage years, it really became a precursor to more severe eating disorders. We are, you're talking to uh, Jessica Weiner, who is... The author of the book, Do I Look Fat in This? She's also an advice columnist. And you know, I, I love the fact that you're on Real Girls Real Advice, which is Mary Kate and Ashley dot, Mary Kate and Ashley dot com. Right. On Mary Kate and Ashley dot com, I write an advice column for over a million girls in 10 countries, and it's called Real Girls Real Advice with Jess. And part of your story is that you have been through it yourself. Yeah. And what do you tell young girls who were you, who, who, who are going through the same path that you went through at 11? Well, here's the thing with 11-year-olds now is that when I was going through it, I was influenced by the media slightly. I was more influenced by my peer life. I think now the 11-year-olds who write into me on the Mary Kate site are so influenced by the media and society and, and Hollywood. I mean, they are so ensconced in a celebrity pop culture. So you know what I tell them is that they have to become superstars in their everyday life. Mm -hmm. They have to learn who they are and how to love who they are or nobody else will. You can't buy it in a store. You can't apply it with lip gloss. You mm -hmm. can't nip and tuck it and suck it away. You have to find out how to love who you are with the body and the and the face that you have. Yeah, because we've just heard like Nicole Richie is, is like lost another 20 pounds. I mean, what is that about? And these are the people that the young girls look up to. Right. Well, here's what worries me about stuff like that. When I see those tabloids as well, I always think it's such irresponsible reporting because one minute, you know, somebody like Nicole Richie is on the cover and they're saying she's shockingly thin. And the next minute they're photographing her and saying, look at her cellulite. Mm -hmm. You know, there's such the media can manipulate so easily this bigger image and issue of bo body image and eating disorders. And, it's then she's dangerous. On, and then she's on glamour. Look how beautiful she is. So exactly. it's like it sends out all kinds of mixed messages. You're listening to The Rolanda Show. We are talking to Jessica Weiner, who is the author of Do I Look? fat in this and it's all about women and and young girls and the constant struggle that we have with our body image what are some of the biggest mistakes that that we make that we don't even realize that we're that we're killing ourselves with this whole lack of body image well, and 
I think going back to the notion of life beginning five pounds from now is a big thing for women out there. I think women in general are always waiting for their life to begin. When I lose weight, when I get a husband, when I get a better job, when I have better shoes, you know, whatever it is for you. <laughs> when I get some Jimmy Chews, my okay. life begins. But, you know, think about it. How many of us feel like we have such redemption when we go shopping one day? You know, we're like, I have a whole new look. And so I think sometimes we address our lives from the outside in. And so, you know, I work a lot with women on developing and defining their inner style mm -hmm. to match their outer style so that there's some more core components to who they are and I think women in general are so focused on giving their power away to outside yeah. sources how do you keep your power and how do you develop your own personal style and strength we'll talk about that right after this